Well, folks, it is starting. Donald Trump hid a $19.8 million loan from a North Korea linked company while he was president, very quickly paid that off, never disclosed it. And the questions are growing and growing and growing. A number of important and detailed articles to look at, including a Forbes article called Trump owed hidden debt while in office. This is clearly only the very beginning. And remember, his tax returns haven't even leaked yet. The, the House Ways and Means Committee has them, but they have not yet even leaked. Let's dig into this first story. Uh, Donald Trump's business attracted so much scrutiny during his time in office that it would be easy to conclude that all the information about its foreign entanglements would be out by now, but it's not. Buried in a heap of recently released financial paperwork sits a surprising revelation. Donald Trump had a foreign creditor he failed to disclose while running for president in 2016 and after assuming office in 2017. The documents compiled by the Trump Organization and obtained by the New York Attorney General show a previously unreported liability of nineteen point eight million dollars listed as LP Day Wu. The debt stems from an agreement Trump struck to share some of his licensing fees with Day Wu, which is a South Korean conglomerate that partnered with Trump on a project near the U.N. headquarters in New York City. Trump eliminated the debt five and a half months into his tenure as president. According to the documents, he seems to have acted with urgency to wipe the liability off his balance sheet. From 2011 to 2016, the balance stayed static at 19.8 million. Paperwork capturing Trump's financial picture as of June 30, 2017, five months into his presidency, appear to show the balance dropped to 4.3 million. Trump got rid of the debt altogether shortly after that. Daewoo was bought out of its position on July 5, 2017. Doesn't say who paid off the loan. Although the debt appeared on the Trump Organization's internal paperwork, it did not show up on Trump's public financial disclosure report. Documents he was required to submit to federal officials while running for president and after taking office. Trump's former CFO, Alan Weisselberg, told The New York Times in 2016 his boss disclosed all debt connected to companies in which Trump held a 100 percent stake on the documents. That was not true. It's also important to understand that there is a North Korean connection here, although it is not necessarily the most important or titillating aspect of this. The very same Forbes article reads, there's little doubt that if the work world had known about the debt while Trump was president, it would have sparked conflict of interest concerns, perhaps heightened by Daewoo's historical ties to North Korea. In the mid 1990s, the firm was the only South Korean company permitted to operate a business inside North Korea. Most people as rich as Trump would not be heavily influenced by a 20 million dollar loan. Regardless, the fact that Trump managed to keep the debt secret for so long underscores how weak the government's ethics safeguards are, how difficult they are to strengthen and how easily Trump could barrel right through them as he runs for president again in 2024. So there are a few issues here. Uh, I would say that there are four issues here. Number one, is this also still just the tip of the iceberg? This has been a question as far as Trump's taxes go now for more than five years. What we what we know is already really bad. And every time we learn a little bit more, we are brought inevitably to the question of how much more is there that we don't even know about? Is this that's issue number one? Issue number two, this was hidden, that this was deliberately hidden. And uh, that is a problem. Number three, the sudden rapid payoff of the debt while having made no progress on the debt for a very long period of time. What was the reason for the apparent sense of urgency? It would be important to learn about that. And then number four, I, maybe I skipped. I don't know. Number four, the North Korea connection. And is it possible that this might have influenced in some way Donald Trump's obsession, quite frankly, with uh, Kim Jong Un and North Korea and the meetings and the handshakes and all of that stuff again? As the article says, normally someone this rich isn't going to alter their behavior dramatically over 20 million. But we have good reason to suspect Trump's not actually as rich as he claims to be. And also because it was hidden, it only raises the alarm around that as well. The uh, by, by the way, 
it is continuing to to stun and uh, 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 you know, just sur shock that the obsession from the right is with Hunter Biden's laptop and references they claim are to Joe Biden, for which there is no proof. And meanwhile, we have all of this actual proof and financial records where there is not even a doubt that it's all about Trump. Trump's name is on all of it refuses to release his tax returns. We figure out he owes money to South Korea. It's a North Korean linked company. He hit it. Uh, and then you've got examples, Saudi Arabia, Russia, China, all these different things. They go, ah, we have to look at what might be, but there is no evidence has anything to do with Joe Biden in documents. It is continued hypocrisy. This is almost certainly only the tip of the iceberg. And indeed, if those tax returns ever leak, I'm not saying leak them to anyone. I'm just saying if they leak, I would expect way more of exactly this type of stuff. Our sponsor, Real Paper, makes toilet paper 100 percent from bamboo, never from trees, meaning no deforestation. Sustainability and climate change can be a tricky topic for people of all ages. It can be particularly challenging to talk about with kids and Real Paper recently launched the Little Lemurs box, a 24 pack of their bamboo toilet paper with a beautifully illustrated kids book that tells an exciting story of sustainability. The box is designed to spark creativity in kids, create an opportunity to talk about deforestation, plastic pollution in a way that's light and easy. And with the holidays here, the book makes a great gift for a little one on your list. Real Papers, Little Lemurs Box and all of the other products are available in easy, hassle free subscriptions or just simple one time purchases on their website. All orders are conveniently delivered to your door with free shipping in. This is the best part. 100 percent recyclable plastic free packaging. Go to realpaper.com slash lemur and sign up for a subscription using code Pacman at checkout to get 30 percent off your first order and free shipping. The link is down below.